Hello, this course is about Programming Logic Control PLC Lesson 1, Introduction to PLC Here we have the course goals Introduction What is PLC? PLC is a special purpose computer that can accept inputs and provide outputs in the form of electrical signals PLCs are microprocessor based devices here I have uh, a Siemens Logo 8 PLC These are two versions of the Logo 8 We can see in this PLC we have 8 inputs We start from I1, the input starts from I1 to I8 And we have 4 outputs The outputs are start from Q1 to Q4 Also, the PLC can connect to wireless in order to make a wireless communication with other devices. Home automation using PLC logics. Here we have an example. Uh, we can see from this example, uh, this PLC can be controlled by a control panel. Then this PLC control uh, many devices for example the air conditioner the electrical uh, or the electric pot the light control and also this PLC accept signals from the sensor from the smoke detector or from the sensor for mailbox from the doorbell another example we can see from this diagram to control the PLC we have to use a computer at the beginning uh, of course in order to program the PLC we need a software uh, during this course we are going to learn how to use logo 8 uh, software and what is the ladder diagram and how can uh, the ladder diagram control the logo 8 PLC here we have an example uh, for uh, PLC we can see here uh, we have many inputs uh, the first input I1 is connected to the water level sensor inside this tank of water sensor 2 we can see the input 2 I2 is connected to this sensor and I3 is connected to the water level sensor these are two water level sensor to control the water level inside the reservoir and also we have many outputs the first output control the water pump inside this tank the second output control the water pump inside the reservoir and the third output control the heater the and uh, the last or the the fourth output can control this RO unit another example you can control uh, other devices other electronic devices by using PLC also here we have an example how to control uh, many electrical points okay I call this one an electrical point for example I want to recharge my mobile so I connect it to this one or to turn the light on so when the, the output Q1 is logic 0 here I have a Q1 logic 0 for example all of these outputs are logic 0 this means the light is off CO2 is off and the two others also are off now if I give logic 1 for the output relay 1 Q1 of course I, I'll make this by using the ladder diagram uh, and I'll explain this later but if I give logic 1 just for the Q1 this means uh, the first point will turn on and this means the light will turn on or I can for example recharge my mobile from this point now I give for the second point logic 1 for Q1 I give it logic 1 and the other uh, outputs will be logic 0 for example so in this case the second point will uh, I can use the second point to uh, to anything to uh, turn any electrical device on okay and so on 
also sometimes I need more outputs or more inputs so to do this I have to connect an extension to my logo PLC here I have an example this is the logo 8 PLC and this is the extension here we can see we have eight inputs for the logo and eight inputs for the extension so uh, at the total we have eight, 16 inputs and also we have four outputs for from the logo the logo provide uh, uh, provide us with four outputs and the extension also provide us with four outputs so we have here in this image we have eight outputs okay another example uh, we can control any factory by using uh, PLC for example control a stepper motor to control the speed of the conveyor also we can control the solenoid valve the pressure inside this reservoir or we can control we can control the temperature of the liquid or anything we can control it by the PLC